What's up guys? ME Pokemon. Um, just kind of checking in, showing you guys an update of some stuff. Uh, not really too much going on, but I uh, just wanted to show you some new updates to the collection. Uh, and just have some kind of discussion. See what you guys think. Uh, this card right here is a recent pickup. Blue Eyes SDK, first edition. Gem Mint 10. And this card, to me, is like the holy grail of Yu-Gi-Oh to me. Everyone likes the DDS, and yeah, I do too. I just haven't gotten one yet. Don't know if I ever will because of the prices. But this card right here is the card I remember most like growing up. And it surprises me so much how, to me, this card is not properly valued. I mean, if you think about it, this card, it goes for, I think the last couple, four, five hundred, maybe five fifty on eBay, but the whole sealed deck goes for the same price, sometimes a little bit cheaper. So, I mean, I just don't get it. If you can get a full sealed deck for four hundred bucks... Why should this only be 500 bucks? To me, this card needs to be a $1,000 card like the DDS. I get, yeah, there's chances, you know, of it not grading a, a 10 and everything, but to me, this card needs to be a little bit more pricey. So yeah, that's an awesome addition. I think I've shown these off already, but Legend of Blue Eyes, Japanese, PSA 10, as you can tell, just a huge Blue Eyes collector. This card to me is just the art, it's just childhood everywhere, all over again. This one's pretty cool. I love that design on it. I didn't, I got these, um, I think someone gave them to me for free. Pretty cool, not really worth anything, but reminds me of the TV show. And I have one of these at PSA right now. This one I didn't send, because it's pretty off-center. It's probably near mint, lightly played, very lightly played. Still, super cool card, but because it was off-center, didn't even want to bother sending it. Um... Then I kind of just want to show these off too. These OG Shinings from the Neo era. I just keep looking at them. And man, they're just better looking every time. Funny story too, I used to have Shining Charizard, a Gold Star Charizard. Um, I bought a lot off someone for like a hundred bucks and it came with like 50 different Charizards. I was like, oh, sell them for a profit. I think I sold a Shining Charizard in decent condition. Probably an 8. I think I sold it, I want to say, for 70 bucks. And then the Gold Star, it's probably a 6. A little worse condition. I think I sold, uh, <laughs> I think, for like 60 bucks. And no one even wanted to buy it at 60 bucks. Now, probably could have gotten a couple hundred for it. It's pretty sad. Uh, Shining Gyarados has like a big hollow right there, big dot of hollow. Shining Magikarp picked this up super cheap on eBay, uh, probably four months ago, I think, but it was only like 40 bucks. I'll take it. Here's an OC card. This card is cool. Don't mind it being OC at all. Funny, back perfectly centered. It's the front that's off. This was in my last PSA video. Actually, all these probably were. Most of these were. So I'll finish up going through these. Just 
just love how they shine, the texture on them. I wish this got a 10. But 9's very nice. Okay, and last but not least, I uh, just wanted to show you I have two CD promos with like the Charizard Venusaur Blastoise coming. So those are all going to be sent off to PSA. Supposedly, I've already bought one from the guy and they sold, I flipped it already. Um, but they should be sealed and they should be, he said he never took them out. Um, Cause they should be in good condition and I'm pretty pumped about those. I picked them up really cheap, like 60 bucks. Um, I think this guy here will get a 10. This thing is pretty flawless. I picked this up from a guy in Japan. Pretty cheap. I think uh, 60, 70 bucks. Hopefully, if it gets a 10, it'll be worth uh, 200. Uh, I have this. I picked it up for like 2 bucks. And I don't think I need this in a 10 anymore, so. Maybe I'll still grade it, just sell it cheap or something. This is going to join. Hoping to get an OC grade on this too. Which will have the Mewtwo and the Mew. Because if you take a look at this guy, he is very off center. And this card is in very nice condition, so I don't think it would have a problem getting. OC9. It's even off center on the front too. So I think that would be sick. And then last but not least, you may think this is just a base set Blastoise. And the seller did too. Luckily. So I picked this up for I think like 20 bucks. Um, let's do this. Oop, wrong one. Anyone see it? Anyone know the difference? Of course, this is Shadow Lucy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not talking about that. If you look right here, you can see it says put Blastoise on the card. Whereas in this one, put Blastoise on the stage one card. So this one is considered a stage error. Because there's nothing there. It's actually pretty rare of a card. I don't think there's that many too high of grades. I think recently, it, only recently, was it actually considered an error by PSA, so the pop count's probably off. Um, the guy selling it, I think was some, it was like an estate sale on eBay. Um, he didn't know what he had. He had it at auction, started in at like three bucks just as a regular Blastoise, and I said, hey, uh, you know, take this off your hands for 20 bucks. And he's like, uh, 25? So, I settled on that. And I don't think that dent here on the bottom is on the card. Pretty sure that's on the case. Maybe it is on the card. That would be kind of sad because I thought this was in better condition. Yeah, it's not on the card. It's on the it's on the sleeve. So, hoping this can pull a nine. It looks pretty nice. Let me know what you guys think. Pretty well centered and everything, so I think it's got a good shot. Alright, well, that's really all I had to show everyone. Um, just kind of giving an update. 
letting you all see what I've got going. Uh, I'll try to post more soon.